Hey, brothers and sisters. In Matthew 16, verse 19, it says, And I will give you the keys of the kingdom of heaven. And whatever you bind on earth will be bound in heaven. And whatever you loose on earth will be loosed in heaven. If we go to Matthew 18, 18, it essentially says the same thing. Assuredly, I say to you, whatever you bind on earth will be bound in heaven. And whatever you loose on earth will be loosed in heaven. So today, I want to talk about this popular teaching out there that says that we have the power to bind Satan. This teaching often comes from these particular verses. But what do these verses mean in context? And are these verses speaking of the power for the believers to be able to bind Satan? Let's give these verses some context and understand what is really being said here. Bind and loose in the Talmud and other rabbinical writings signify to interpret and apply the law and traditions on any subject with strictness or with laxity. And in general, it meant to forbid or to allow. For instance, the strict school of Shammai is represented as binding many things, which the school of Hillel loosed. In rabbinical phrases, it would be said that in Acts 15 verse 10, Peter advocated loosing what the Judaizers wished to bind. Binding and loosing were administrative terms in daily Jewish life. Whenever a Jew came up against the law of Moses, that Jewish person was either bound or loosed in regard to the law. To loose was to permit. To bind was to prohibit. To loose was to free from the law. To bind was to put under the law. The regular sense which any Jew would recognize was to allow and to forbid. To bind something was to declare it forbidden. To loose was to declare it allowed. These were the regular phrases for taking decisions in regard to the law. Peter and the other disciples were to continue Christ's work on earth in preaching the gospel and declaring God's will to men, and they were armed with the same authority as he possessed. In Matthew 18.18, 18, there is also a reference to the binding and loosing in the context of church discipline. The apostles did not usurp Christ's lordship and authority over individual believers and their eternal destiny, but they do exercise the authority to discipline and, if necessary, excommunicate disobedient church members. Based on God's word, believers today can declare an unrepentant sinner to be unsaved, bound, and a repentant believer in Jesus Christ to be saved, loosed. The binding and loosing based on one's rejection or acceptance of the gospel reflects heaven's perspective on the matter. In heaven, Christ ratifies what is done in his name in obedience to his word on earth. So, these verses have nothing to do with the binding of Satan and spiritual warfare. The only place in scripture we see Satan being bound is in Revelation 21 through 3. Then I saw an angel coming down from heaven, having the key to the bottomless pit and a great chain in his hand. He laid hold of the dragon, that serpent of old, who is the devil, and Satan, and bound him for a thousand years. And he cast him into the bottomless pit and shut him up, and set a seal on him, so that he should deceive the nations no more till the thousand years were finished. But after these things he must be released for a little while. Satan is currently the god of this world and the prince of the power of the air, Ephesians 2.2. 2. He cannot be bound on command by believers. In fact, 1 Peter 5.8 says, He walks about like a roaring lion, seeking whom he may devour. The only way we are instructed to combat the evil one is this. Submit yourself to God, resist the devil, and he will flee from you. James 4.7 and in 1 Peter 4, 9, it tells us not to bind him, but to resist him, steadfast in the faith, knowing that the same sufferings are experienced by your brotherhood in the world. In Jude 9, it says not even Michael, the archangel, bound Satan. Yet Michael, the archangel, in contending with the devil when he disputed about the body of Moses, 
dared not bring against him a reviling accusation, but said, The Lord rebuke you. So in conclusion, Christians are never taught to take Scripture out of context and bind and loose Satan. We are told to resist the devil, and he will flee. He flees because he is still the God of this age, roaming around, seeking someone to devour. He will only be bound at the end of the tribulation period for a thousand years, at which time he will be loosed again for a brief time. It is extremely important that we consult scripture and not the popular teachings of men on these matters. God bless.